It's mine. And I like it. Okay, so here we go. That time again, time for another solo overnighter in the woods. And lo and behold, we're gonna do something different. We're gonna revisit the video and do it 10 times better. Let's get to it. Okay, so I wanna say about four to five months ago, probably around early October-ish, we did a video called Soul Overnight, doing a $25 thrift store challenge in the woods. We went to a local thrift store and spent 25 bucks or less, got some pretty cool gear and had an outstanding overnighter. Well, I thought to myself, why not do that again, but increase the budget to $100. And roughly for $67 and change, I got everything I needed, including food. Let's get this gear out and talk it through. Okay, so first thing up is the backpack. It is a Samsung backpack. It is not high quality at all, but it was under 10 bucks, so I'm happy with that. Um, has multiple compartments on here. The important thing is it's in a newer, good, decent condition, and it holds everything that I want it to. Yes, I know it's purple. Don't hate, participate. Um, a yoga mat and the beauty of this thing is, is exactly like an iso mat. It's foam It's gonna keep me off the ground and keep me from getting cold Best part is it's about seven foot long. So I don't care if it's purple It's mine. And I like it Moving on to cutting tools, this one here was $2.99. It's a chef knife, stainless steel. It's almost identical to the one I had in my previous thrift store video. Full tang, meaning the blade passes all the way through the handle, and it is actually really sturdy. I like this style, and the blade length is about eight inches, so I'll be happy with this. The next thing we have is a saw. Funny thing about this is this is a Harbor Freight saw. Identical, 100% to the one I had in my Harbor Freight video. Um, just goes to show that, hate to say it, but a lot of things from Harbor Freight are junk and end up at a thrift store. But will it still work? Hell yes it will. We have a stainless steel water bottle, probably about 24 ounces, from the Residence Inn by Marriott, Columbus Airport. Brand new stainless steel, it says do not microwave. So now I have a container I can boil water and disinfect it. I also have a canteen that I can carry the water with me. And it has a hook right here that could be clipped to my backpack or stuffed into one of the sleeves or side pockets. So I'm happy with this. These next few items here, we're going to go ahead and label them our cook set. I have one of those metal coated cups right here. I can use for a coffee mug or I can pour liquid into it, let it cool down and drink it. So I'm happy with this. We have a witch's cauldron. Um, what I liked about this is we've got these two little hooks right here, these D-rings. I can actually take this and put a stick through it and actually sit over the fire like this. Or what I can do is I can suspend it from a tripod. We have a fork and spoon set, 50 cents each. So this fits right inside here this inside like that so stainless steel cook set works for me moving on to our combustion we have three lighters they're not big lighters but they're three for one dollar and they work so that right there is gold we have a 
flashlight and batteries were included. Probably about five lumens or less with an incandescent light bulb, but will it work? Yes, and it does. $299, so I'm happy with this. Boom, 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 and boom. We have two 100% cotton wash rags. In my previous video, I made char cloth, so that's still an option. I can use this to wash myself or use it for filtration. So I have a plan for these later in the video, and we'll come back to this. 50 yards of crafter's closet craft cord. Um, there was no rope, there was no tarred bank line, there was no paracord. So we're gonna roll with craft cord and hope it all works out. Last but not least, in this category, we have a compact or a mirror. It's overcast and cloudy, so that sucks. One thing I haven't shown you in my videos is signaling for rescue, and I kind of wanted to do that. And it's going to be difficult today, but for 99 cents, you can't go wrong with this. Damn, I'm smooth. So this right here was a steel. Um, it feels pretty thick. It's probably about a 7 mil tarp, 10 by 10 for $10. I have no idea what store it came from, but a 10 by 10 tarp for 10 bucks, you can't beat that. So we'll get some different configuration today. It's something I see in my head, I'm going to try it, and I have not tried it with one of these, so hopefully it'll all work out. But yeah, 10 bucks for 10 by 10. It's a twin size blanket, and it's roughly in newer condition. So I'll have no problem staying warm with this. And worst case, I could take it and drape it around my body and just sit in front of the fire and open it up, kind of like a cloak, and trap all that heat. So this is a steal. And I believe it was under five bucks. So as you can see right there, for around eight bucks, I got food for probably two or three days. I'm happy with that. Now, I've never heard of that coffee, so there's our coffee experiment for tomorrow and breakfast as well. So, let's go ahead and get our camp set up. You have to worry about the rain or possibility of rain. So all I gotta do here is fold this one under and secure this grommet down to that stake and this grommet down to this stake and it will create a small doorway right here. Now, will water get right here? Probably, but it's not gonna get back inside there unless you're on a decline and it rolls in here. Okay, so here we are. We're inside of our tarp tent in the woods. Now behind me, I have a good foot and a half. And my entire body's inside here, so I can get my entire body in here and my gear behind me. This is the halfway point, kind of like a military-style shelter half. you got the two halves and the poles down the center. You can get an additional person over here on this side with all their gear as well. Um, really happy with this configuration. So, something to think about for the future. Outstanding AF.
So all we did right here is we took that string, locked it off on this side, and then locked it off on the opposite side. What tends to happen is these things want to start spinning around this way until it tightens up, and then they start spinning the opposite direction. So to stop the spin, simply lock it off, and then go the opposite, and lock it off again. All right, we got shells and cheese with tuna and Texas peat. That's what I'm talking about right there. Mm. Perfection. I'm gonna smoke this whole pack of crackers and eat every single bite of this. Catch you all in a few. Mm. Ah, that's good. Crap snacks, cheddar barbecue. Stay true to who you are. And on that note, cheddar barbecue. It's actually pretty good. No uh, expiration date on here, so it must be okay. Hmm. Time on deck is 20 hundred, 8 p.m. And it's just now getting dark. So, springtime is here. On that note, I'm impressed with this tarp tent. I'm actually digging this right here. We'll talk about this shelter in the morning, but just like last week, I gotta get up early AF. We're talking butt crack of dawn. I have an intro to survival class at the Pathfinder School, so I'll be there all weekend, um, teaching the art of survival. We'll be survivaling. Um, Next week we've got something big going on. I don't want to talk about it too much. It's a bucket list item, 110%. And it's something I've always thought about, but haven't had the time to do. So we're going to tackle that bad boy next week. And I don't want to give it away, but let's just say I'm a fan, big fan, of what I'm going to do next week. So leave me a comment and try to guess what that is. It's going to be a nice night tonight. We're talking 55 degrees Fahrenheit. Today was a high of 70. So once again, springtime's here. On that note, I'm going to go ahead and load this bad boy up. I'm going to get in my shelter and I'm going to relax because it's my last night to actually kick it out here and relax without any stress and I'm going to enjoy it. Catch you all in the morning.
use a little bit more contact time with the water, but um, what I had to do there was trim off the edges because they're wide strips. I tried tying that uh, utility cord on there and it's so weak it would break off in my hands. But using those uh, wide strips there on the edges of that wash rag held that thing in place. So I could probably actually dump some more water through that, but maybe later. And we got our cream of wheat, maple one brown sugar. Look at that thickness. All right. Hmm. Tell you what. That was good. So, real quick on the shelter, I'm impressed. I'm really impressed. This configuration, I was covered on every single side. And I was looking at something last night when I showed you that I could actually take this and close it. We had about a foot gap at the bottom. All you got to do is lower the tent down. It will make it wider. And in doing that, the door will become lower to the ground. And you can actually close the front door on this thing. So if it were to rain, you could use that for an actual viable option, in my opinion. And I think you'd actually stay dry in there. So... I'm happy with this. I want to revisit this down the road. Um, but yeah, thrift store, tarp tent in the woods. And there you go. Sole overnight doing a thrift store challenge for under $100. Came in at $67 and change. With that, all the gear in my videos can be found in two places. One, my Amazon Influencer page, and two, my Self-Reliance Outfitters Influencer page. And if you're interested in Corporal's Corner merchandise, that can be found on Teespring. All three links are found inside my description box. Now, please do me a favor. Hit that like and subscribe button, then ring that notification bell. Once you ring that bell, please select all notifications. And as always, thank you for your comments, views, and support. Thanks for watching. Get out in the field, have some fun. I'm going to catch you next time.